Hello guys and welcome to the second part of our interior modeling tutorial. On the last lesson we created a shell of our final target and in today's lesson we'll be creating the wardrobe. So let's start off by going to the create panel. Select the box. Go over to your floor plan and create a box of about that size. Just click and drag up to about there. Use either your front viewport or your left viewport to move it up slightly. So think around here. Let me just change the color so we can see what's going on. And also hit F4 on your keyboard so we can review the edges. Now we've got that and then duplicate it by holding down shift and then click and drag. So we're going to cut a hole through our green wall here. Select the, the wall itself, go over to create, get the compound objects, select the boolean and pick the upper end B. So as soon as you click on that, hit on the purple box and there we go. We've sliced the hole through that. Now what we want to do is use this as our wardrobe section. So just bring that in. Zoom in closer. And then apply the edit poly modifier to that. Select the polygon. Select that. Go down to inset. So about there and then extrude so we're gonna take that inside up to about there I reckon and then inset one more time and now what we're going to do is select the edges so that would be these two here right click Click on the little box next to the connect and increase the segments to I think 8 and then say OK. We've got the basis of our wardrobe. Grab the, the polygons again and this time we're going to inset by clicking the settings box here. Say by polygon. Just slightly for now, like so. Maybe increase it a little bit. And then select the extrude tool. Just go in a little bit and then inset that one more time. And then extrude it outwards. So right now we're using quite a lot of these tools. So we're going to insert that again. And actually this time I think just insert it up to about that much. Zoom in. Then grab your select and move tool. Move it over like so. So now we're creating the handles. Extrude that. So we're going to go inside a little bit. And then inset. So about that much. And then bring this out. Select the bevel. So just make it a little bit bigger and then extrude that a little bit so yeah we've created our wardrobe as simple as that since we'll be rendering our object or our model from the from the inside we don't want to overcrowd it with creating an actual wardrobe 
that could make things a bit complicated when it comes to rendering because they might be too heavy but what we have here I should do just fine once we've uh, set up the lighting but yeah um, that was a quick tutorial uh, we've managed to create our wardrobe here and on the next lesson we'll be working on the other objects thanks for tuning in today and I'll see you on the next lesson bye for now